is it going everybody you're watching that about tech and today i'm going to show you how to transfer an apple watch from an old iphone to a new one so maybe you have an iphone it's paired to an apple watch and you bought a new iphone and you want to transfer this apple watch to the new one or maybe you bought a used pre-owned apple watch from somebody else and you want to transfer it from the old owner to your iphone so let me show you how you can do that. It's super simple. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is actually get the iPhone that's actually paired with the Apple Watch. So the old iPhone, let's call it that. Okay, and go ahead and open up the watch app. Okay, open it up. If you don't have access to the old iPhone, so the iPhone that's actually still paired to your Apple Watch, you can still do it. I'm gonna show you in a second. All right, so go ahead here, get the iPhone that's currently paired with the Apple Watch and make sure to unpair, unpair it from the iPhone. That's the first step. So go ahead here, go to general and then scroll all the way down and go ahead here and tap on reset and then erase Apple Watch content and settings, all right? With this first, very first option. Go ahead here, erase all content and settings and then once again erase all content and settings it's gonna ask for an apple id and password right because we're unpairing uh we are removing the apple id the icloud all of the information and we're making this apple watch brand new as if it was opened out of the box for the first time okay that's why that's the best way to do it if you don't have access to the old iphone for some reason maybe uh the iphone was yours but you already sold it or maybe you bought it from somebody else so if you don't have this iphone with you you can still do it all right we're gonna need to do it straight from the watch so let me show you how it's done uh you go ahead here and you actually need to go ahead and open up your settings and then scroll down and tap on general and then scroll all the way down it's pretty much the same thing right and tap on reset as you can see erase all content and settings but the thing is i generally don't like this process right here because this apple watch will then be activation locked it will be locked because it's gonna ask for the Apple ID and password later. So that's why I generally prefer to unpair and reset straight from the iPhone because like that, we already put here uh, the username, the password, the Apple ID information, and then this Apple Watch will be blank and reset. But as I said, sometimes you don't have this option. So if that's your case, if you don't have the old iPhone with you, you're gonna need to reset it straight from the watch but then you're gonna need to have the Apple ID linked to this watch, otherwise you won't be able to use it. So you need the Apple ID. So let's go ahead here and type in the password of the Apple ID. So then we're gonna remove it right off the bat and that's the best way to do it. And now let's tap here on erase. So let it do its thing. It's gonna start resetting the Apple watch and the process is all automatic. As you can see, it's gonna unpair and reset. So as I said, after this is done, the Apple Watch will be brand new. There will be no activation lock, nothing like that. The Apple Watch will be ready for us to pair on the new phone. That's the correct way to do it. So as you can see, after just a few seconds, your iPhone that was previously paired with the Apple Watch will say good afternoon, start pairing. So it's showing here that it's currently not paired with this Apple Watch anymore. It's showing the hello screen. So we're good to go. It has already unpaired. Now it's just gonna finish the restart process. As you can see, it's already restarting. We have this wheel right here. It's super fast. The whole process takes like a minute and a half maybe two minutes it's super fast as you can see now we have the apple logo here on the apple watch it's just restarting and so after a few more seconds as you can see we're ready the apple watch is ready to be paired to any iphone that you wish as you can see we're already seeing it pop up but of course we don't want to pair with this phone because we just unpaired it as a matter of fact we don't need this phone anymore you could put it on the side and actually you're gonna need to do this, you're gonna pair it 
with a new iPhone. And that's your typical pairing process. And I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. All you have to do is bring your new iPhone close to the Apple Watch. And as you can see, it's already gonna pop up here that there's an Apple Watch ready to be paired. So go ahead here and continue. I'm gonna move it like that. It's gonna be easier for us to see in the video. So then right here, we can already start pairing. So go ahead here and allow notifications, of course, set up for myself. Right here, you're gonna need to actually read the display of your Apple Watch, so do that. So read the display, as you can see, it's gonna be your typical pairing process. As you can see, your Apple Watch is paired, so great. Set up Apple Watch, left or right, uh, wrist preference, of course. Now it's connecting to your Apple Watch. This may take a few moments, so it's just really pairing right now. Now it's activating your Apple Watch. Now we've got terms and conditions. You can agree, of course. And then it's signing into your account. So as you can see, this process is all automatic. And of course, the Apple Watch will already be linked with the new iPhone and with the Apple ID of this iPhone as well. So it'll be all synced up all on the same account, super simple. Now we've got watch analytics, you can share or not, I generally don't, an Apple Watch passcode, I'm not gonna use it right now just to make it some time, so don't add a passcode, don't use passcode, but of course I recommend you to do so. Uh, here, uh, tax and size, let's continue with the standard size, use dictation or not, I generally don't like to use it, Share settings mean all the settings will be shared between both devices, okay. Uh, fitness and health and all that, you can continue. Uh, workout route tracking, yes, do enable that, that's important. Notification about health, yep. And then of course, are you taking medications and so on and not taking any of those medications. And here, safety, continue. And the action button, if you have an Apple Watch Ultra or Ultra 2, uh, you can map it, so continue. Here, depth as well, another feature of the Apple Watch Ultra. Uh, open automatically, okay. And then now it's syncing, so as you can see, it's syncing, we're done. Here we have some tips if you wanna get to know your Apple Watch, but that's of course uh, not necessary. So as you can see, we don't even need to restore a backup or anything like that because all of the data from the Apple Watch is already synced up to iCloud. So you don't need to backup anything, you don't need to restore anything, all your information from your Apple Watch, if you previously had it already, right, uh, it's gonna be transferred automatically with iCloud. If it's your first Apple Watch, it will be blank. But of course, all your shared settings will be there, okay? So, that's it. Now, you just have to wait a few more seconds or maybe a minute or two for this wheel to complete, and I'm gonna show you that it's actually synced up to the new iPhone. And so, as you can see, we're done. We've got here the hello screen on the Apple Watch. We can start and then we're good to go. It's gonna give us some instructions on how to use it and so on. But of course, everything is ready and everything is already syncing up and downloading and all of that. And just to show you that it's actually paired with this iPhone, the new iPhone, if we go here to the watch app, open it up, there we go, welcome to Apple Watch. It's here, connected, Daniel's Apple Watch. It's perfect, it's working, paired, connected, and that's how you actually transfer an Apple Watch from one iPhone to another. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.